Okay, I'm standing on top of a building, a rather tall building in the, the refugee camp, which as you can see is directly opposite the wall that's been erected right around Jerusalem, goes on for miles. Um, I've been here on a number of occasions. Uh, I've been here before this wall went up, when people were able from this place to sit on their balcony lower down and look out over olive groves. All those olive groves now have been confiscated from the Palestinians. They can't get to them and if they can't tend them for three years then they automatically lose them. That's the injustice. How are they supposed to get to them? They can't. And because they can't get to them, they lose them completely. Now is that just? Is that fair? I think most fair-minded people would say it isn't. I've seen this wall go up. Just down there is where it was proposed that the Pope should come and uh, stand there in front of the wall. But uh, the Israeli authorities, of course, didn't want that. And they said there was no way we can have a public image of the Pope in front of the wall, so he was pushed inside. Uh, one would have thought that those who built the wall might be proud of it and would want to exhibit it to the world. But apparently there was no desire to have the world see the Pope standing in front of what some people describe as an apartheid wall. And one has to say, is that too strong a word to use? Apartheid, division of a people from other people. And here we have now this refugee camp. Uh, I've been to these refugee camps many times. Just below us is the school, which is supported by the UN and run by the UN, as, and a clinic next door. But this camp's been here since the... When is it? It's 1948. And people are still living as refugees. Uh, there's something grossly wrong in our world which allows such terrible inequalities. These are the people here who live here, the Palestinian people who live here, who are in fact labelled as the aggressors, the terrorists. But as you can see, they will say we're an occupied people. We're an occupied people. We're losing our land little bit by bit, inch by inch. We're losing it. And because of that, they resist. And because they resist, they're labelled as terrorists. Uh, some would argue that they're remarkably, remarkably uh, peaceful in many ways in the face of so much provocation. Uh, but that is not the image that's painted of the Palestinian. The image that's painted in the popular media, media is the image of a terrorist and the image that's painted of the other group, of course, is of a people who are constantly under attack, victims. Perhaps that image might be reversed. Uh, just let me conclude by saying, I think, I am not a warmonger, and anybody who knows me knows that. I do not support violence, anyone knows, knows me knows that also. What I would love to see is people get together in harmony and cut out some of the awful rhetoric and frank trickery that's going on in public statements and get to the honest truth, the honest truth of this situation, which is very difficult to do because often through the media we're not getting the true honest facts about this situation. And I think in all the reports that I've done and that others have done during this brief visit to uh, the occupied territories, I think we've tried to represent the voice of the people, what they're feeling, what they're seeing, and how they're reacting to the situation. And I can only hope that we shall eventually see the end to, as I said, what some call apartheid in the Middle East, that we shall see an end to it. And I would hope that I shall live long enough to see that horrible war cutting off a people from a people.
I hope I shall live long enough to see it collapse and fall down, just as the walls of Jericho fell down all those years ago.